Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the law of attraction because I haven't done an LOA video in a very long time. So what I want to speak about is the concept of um, scripting and rewriting the script. So I've discussed scripting in all my other videos and that's basically the technique where you write you write out a script of a certain event in your life that you would like to happen and you actually write the way in which you would like it to take place so for instance you would write about the ideal wedding or you would write about winning the lottery or going on holiday going on vacation somewhere or maybe visiting a foreign country or anything that you want in your life you actually write you put pen to paper and you literally write it as a script as if it's happening or as if it has already happened so it could be like in the form of a diary entry or it could be just like a dialogue between you and a certain person if you would like a, a certain conversation to go a certain way for instance so if you have an interview coming up a job interview then you would write a script about how you how you had already arrived at the interview and what was said, what was discussed during the interview, and then what the outcome of the interview was. So the other thing in the Law of Attraction um, concerning scripting, the other issue, is rewriting the script. So this, in essence, means if something happened during the day that really upset you, or made you unhappy, or actually bothered you to the point where you had a sleepless night over it or sleepless nights then you would want to take that event and kind of rewrite how it occurred how it happened even if it's not real real um you would actually rewrite it as if your version is the correct and true version of the event so let's say you had a very terrible day and you had an argument with your partner or your best friend you would actually think about how everything happened what was said between you and the other person and you would think of a few different ways that that it could have happened differently okay so and this is where it gets tricky because rewriting the script is all about tricking your mind okay because obviously this event didn't happen in the way that you are now writing it um, that's why you're writing it because you're changing it but the bad version or the I want to say the bad version of the event is not actually the correct version but you are now going to change it and manipulate it and alter it almost to make it just different okay to make it the way you wanted it to happen the way you wanted it to be and in doing so, you're not changing the actual event, but you are, excuse me, <laughs> you are changing the way in which you perceive what happened. So if someone called you <clears throat> all sorts of terrible names during an argument, you know, it can't just go in here and out there, it actually sits in your subconscious and it, it bothers you. So... You take all those horrible words that were said to you and you actually write a dialogue and you use different words. You actually say instead of saying this and this and this, this person called me humble, um, amazing, beautiful, lovely, you know, and you're not going to really obviously change the way that person sees you or take all those things back. But you are tricking your mind into believing that, you know, I'm not, for instance, worthless or useless or lazy or horrible or whatever that person called you. But the whole purpose of this exercise is to change your perception and to give you a bit of peace of mind. So it's taking away the power of that bad event. You are taking away the power that that bad event has over you the control it has over you and you're turning it into something positive and something good so i want to almost say that if there's like a part of your life 
maybe of your childhood that really bothers you and disturbs you to this day. I want you to try and maybe take that event and rewrite it. So if you had a parent who was, for instance, an alcoholic, you will not see it as that anymore, even if that is the truth. You are now creating your own truth and your own reality. That is what the law of attraction is about. Okay, so if you don't want to tell everyone, oh, I had such a horrible childhood because my, my father was an alcoholic or whatever, then don't go around telling it to everyone. You know, change it in your head and tell yourself, and this may seem really crazy now, I may seem like a loony, but <clears throat> if it makes you happy to go around telling people that, you know, your father, your father was someone amazing or he was this professor or, I'm not saying you have to outright lie or make up a story, but just don't, don't tell the worst version, the worst possible version of the story, okay? So, you don't need to lie, you don't need to twist the truth. You can just leave out certain details if it actually has a purpose, if it gives you peace. And obviously that's a very personal story. I mean, if you meet a potential partner, you want openness between the two of you, you want honesty, you want communication, you don't want to make up stories that aren't true. You don't want to go around telling everyone that your father is some politician or your mother <clears throat> is some Hollywood star. That's not what I'm saying, but I suppose we need to start with the baby steps and then progress from there, okay? So for instance, maybe don't don't lie about the identity of a certain person or a certain parental figure in your life. But, you know, tell the truth. Tell the truth to the people that are close to you. Um, and I'm going a bit off topic now, but it's it seems like this thing could be contradictory in some instances. So I just want to explain. Don't lie. Be open. Be honest. Um, if the person is close enough to you that you actually can share these details with the person, then go ahead. You know, tell them, tell them about your childhood. Excuse me. Swallowed my own spit and nearly choked. <laughs> um, tell them about your childhood and what happened and how it changed you and how you grew from that situation, from that event, from your circumstances, because your circumstances don't define you. But... I think don't apply this rule to, to, um, I want to say to something that happened long ago. Apply it more to your current situation or your recent past. Okay, so don't worry too much about what happened in your childhood. Worry more about like what happened today during the course of your day and it's now night time and you, you're, you are in bed trying to fall asleep but this thing is just sitting in the back of your head at the back of your head and it's just like bothering you to such an extent that you you literally can't sleep you're having sleepless nights you're having anxiety then I want you to go into a space of calm calmness and just rethink everything that happened and how it happened and even if there's more than one possible new version of the event, I want you to think about all those new versions of how this event could have gone, how this thing could have happened, how it should have happened. And in doing so, like I said, you know, you're not changing the actual event, but you're changing your reality. You're changing your perception. You're changing the way that it affected you. Um, and you're changing it for the better so that when you wake up the next day you actually don't feel that horrible anymore you are now feeling a little bit better because you've dealt with it you've thought about all the other ways in which it could in which it could have happened and you are thinking that the different ways in which it could have happened are ultimately better than how it actually happened so by thinking about it in that way, you're actually seeing more possibilities and you're opening yourself up to those possibilities. 
and you're not restricting, you're not limiting yourself to that one event. And that one event is not the be-all and end-all of your life, you know? And I've done this a couple of times, and I want to say that it works. Because, for instance, um, for example, I've had an argument with a certain person. I had an argument with this person, and I didn't like the way the conversation went. And I rehearsed the whole event in my head before I went to sleep. And I actually said to myself that when I wake up, this person is going to apologize to me. And this person is going to say, um, you know, I made a mistake. You know, it's, it's obviously a story has two sides. But I actually rehearsed or I rewrote the way in which the event happened. Um, for instance, if the person didn't see my point of view, then in my new version of the event, I actually said that the person saw not only my point of view, but they actually respected my point of view. And in the morning, like magic, <laughs> this person apologized and said, you know what, I'll try and see your perspective from now on. I'll always try and see your point of view. Even if I don't agree with it initially, um, I'll respect it. So I want to hear your opinion about this whole thing, about rewriting the script, and if you've done it before, and whether it has helped you or not. So please comment in the comment section if there's something that you've actually changed in your mind to make it better or to make it seem different. And, you know, even if it's not true, it could really help you. It could because it has helped me. So please let me know in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.